Welcome to It's Your Ego, Stupid, a show lovingly intended for millions of spiritual, intelligent, and imperfect people like you who may at times be led into ego stupidity, a lesser version of yourself and a lesser version of life. This show will give you a much deeper understanding of what ego is, what it's doing to your life, how it can weaken your human and spiritual wellness, and how you can heal in each of these areas if needed. It's Your Ego, Stupid will heighten your awareness of the intense link between your ego and spirit, your humanity and divinity, and the synergy that can lead to the best version of you and your life. Your host is Dr. Nick Martin, a licensed psychologist who has worked in the clinical, university, school, and private practice settings over the past 40 years, while serving as a therapist, diagnostician, educator, and consultant. Welcome again to It's Your Ego, Stupid, and now your host, Dr. Nick Martin. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Nick Martin, also known by some as Ego Man. Due to my intense focus on ego and how it's impacting our lives, both humanly and spiritually. And I want to thank you for listening to It's Your Ego, Stupid on Ohm Times Radio. The title of today's show and my forthcoming book is Resurrection, The Earthly Union of Our Humanity and Divinity. The focus of this show is on our ability to rise from the deadness of our inhumanity for those who need to do so, and there are many, into the lifefulness of our humanity lived in concert with our divinity. During today's show, I'll be focusing on three main areas. In the first part, I'll be talking about what I refer to as an earthly resurrection. A resurrection unlike the divine resurrection we experience when we leave this earthly place upon our death and entry into spirit. An earthly resurrection in which we can arise from the deadness of our inhumanity if that is taking place, and it is for many, into the lifefulness and heaven on earth of our humanity being lived in concert with our divinity, something I refer to as the great life. The second part of today's show will involve a discussion and description of what this earthly resurrection looks like as it unfolds including a path of consciousness that leads toward it, and the person we will have become if we undertake and complete this journey. The person who has abandoned and left behind their inhumanity towards themselves or others in favor of their humanity being blended with their divinity. An abandonment brought forth by choosing to find and learn human and divine truth. The last part of today's show will focus on the means to undertaking this journey, involving the use of ego medicine. It is with the use of ego medicine that we can heal ourselves where needed from our inhumanity where needed, and bring about our earthly resurrection and enjoy all of which has been made available to us in our earthly existence. To live not a poor or fair quality of life, or even a good one, but a great life which requires the synergy of our humanity and divinity. Make no mistake, there are lots of people who are living their lives in a healthy and humane place due to the balanced ego energy that lies at the roots of their thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. And even some are living the great life, in which their humanity is being lived in concert with their divinity. Those living the great life have come to know the love, life, and energy God is, and which resides in them as well as fully recognizing the divine gifts of their life, their ability to create the life in which they are living, their eternal life, and the presence of God within them. But 
many are falling short of what is available to them in this life, here and now, that is heaven on earth. Quite simply and succinctly, they are dead, they are the dead or the living dead, if you will, and their deadness is being manifested in their inhumanity to themselves or others. Heaven on earth is a place that those consumed by their unhealthy ego energy and inhumanity to themselves or others can never get to know, unless and until they heal their ego energy. But they could get to live in with the healing of their ego energy with ego medicine. I refer to this heaven on earth as an earthly resurrection because it is unlike the one that takes place when we die and leave the earthly realm and enter into the next life, whatever that is to be. That resurrection is in the hands of God, and I refer to it as the divine resurrection. The divine resurrection lies within the then and there, in a different place and at a future time. <clears throat> what has been referred to by some as the afterlife. The then and there involving a place humans have conceived of as being heaven. I, myself, have no idea what this place called heaven looks like because I believe it defies human conception and description. I'm hesitant to foist a human interpretation on this place because I believe God's majesty defines human conception, no matter how brilliant those who make this attempt to know it are. But I have no doubt that whatever takes place in this divine resurrection, in this afterlife, is incredible, and all we could want it to be. What makes me say that, if I'm saying I don't know what it is? certainly a reasonable question that you may have. Well, firstly, it is being fashioned by the love, life, and energy God is, which is what makes it possible. Some may call that faith, but is it a faith rooted in recognizing the love, life, and energy God is that I have already witnessed? Second, just look at this incredible earthly place that we have been given. It is filled with creation born of the love, life, and energy God is. We have already witnessed God's handiwork here and the opportunity to experience a version of heaven here in earthly heaven. And by the way, there is a lot of deadness and inhumanity in those who are destroying our planet for their own personal gains. Unfortunately, many people are not in a place of consciousness that would allow them to experience what can be described as heaven on earth. I refer to this consciousness as ego spiritualism because it involves awakening on both an egoic consciousness and spiritual consciousness level. Not just the spiritual consciousness that most writers on the topic of raising consciousness only seem to pay attention to. That game plan for helping humanity to evolve has been tried for 3,000 years, and it hasn't been enough. There is a need for awakening on both a human or egoic level as well as a spiritual one. And they are intimately linked, which is why the subtitle of my book refers to the union of our humanity and divinity. The inhumane are the people who need to undertake an earthly resurrection so that they can experience what already has been given to us in the here and now and not just in the there and then of divine resurrection. The love, life, and energy God is would not want us to wait for a heavenly experience in the next life or the one which awaits us. 
humans are the ones who have told themselves they must wait. Well, heaven is here and now, but you must open your eyes and awaken to it. The earthly resurrection I'm referring to is within our hands. This one involves arising from the deadness of one's inhumanity to themselves, others, or both. A deadness rooted in a person's unhealthy ego energy that contributes to a lot of ego stupidity and abnormal normal taking place in their lives. Something I've talked a lot about in my books and shows. A deadness reflected when living in a world where one is spending their time existing rather than living. A deadness rooted in unhealthy ego energy in which a person can only experience separation from others and God and not a healthy connection. A deadness rooted in unhealthy ego energy in which a person can only experience a sense of themselves or others as being less worthy than they truly are. A deadness rooted in unhealthy ego energy in which a person thinks of themselves or others as being unequal. We see a lot of this deadness in those who are looking down on or discriminating against others on the basis of race, gender, religion, ethnicity, gender orientation, and so on. The racist, sexist, religious extremists are dead when looking at the inhumanity they are manifesting. If you look at what is and has been occurring in our American society, you can see there is no shortage of this deadness. These are reflections of an emotional and human deadness that is preventing many from experiencing heaven on earth, the great life. A life in which one's humanity and divinity are co-mingling. Some first-hand examples of those are living, those living within this deadness of, are people I've described in my book, The Two Voices Within, and in my podcasts on Own Times Radio, involving roles people live. These include people who are authoritarians, narcissists, dictators, victims, perfectionists racists, sexists, to name just a few. They are all just existing, surviving, and what I might add, suffering, even though they may not realize it, because they are caught up in their unrecognized inhumanity to themselves or others. But it's, just, it's not just limited to those living within those roles. Anyone who is wrestling with significant ego, ener ego energy issues that I talk about in my books and on my podcasts, which are available on my website, egoandspirit.info, are also in need of the earthly resurrection I'm talking about. One of the great quotations attributed to Jesus was, Many are called, but few are chosen. Again, many are called, but few are chosen. I take that to mean that all are given the opportunity to live the great life. They are the many, but few do. Few do because they fail to choose themselves when necessary. Yes, the quotation has to do with choosing yourself. I can't completely blame them because part of choosing oneself involves understanding what that means. What does one have to do to choose oneself? They are also up against a great obstacle, their hidden ego energy, which has them speaking with their inhumane ego voice rather than their own humane voice in their life. They remain stuck in their deadness due to the ego energy that has them trapped in surviving, rather than the freedom of living. If you want to start choosing yourself, go to my website, egoandspirit.info. 
it was designed as a resource for anyone who is seeking to live the great life that is available to all of us. I am led to one more great quotation from Jesus, one which I consider to be particularly profound. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. What I think makes it profound is that Jesus is giving us the secret sauce of great living and what can bring about one's earthly resurrection. What can bring about the union of our humanity and divinity? The secret sauce is truth, human and divine. We are designed by God to resonate and heal when and where necessary by being connected to truth. The divine truth that God is love, life, and energy, which also dwells within us, though we can be living at a distance from it, which reflects the deadness that often occurs within in humanity. The human truth that we can form a tight connection to when our ego energy is not walking us away from it due to power, flexibility, or vulnerability issues. The kind of issues often unrecognized that I talk about in my work. Yes, truth, which is often brilliant yet simple and staring us in the face. But we may not see it for what it is due to ego energy issues that walk people in the direction of inhumanity to themselves or others and deadness. Truth is the secret sauce of life. Choose truth and you are choosing to live the great life. We're coming up on our first break. When we return, I'll put you looking at what the earthly resurrection, the heaven on earth, and the great life look like. This is Dr. Nick. You're listening to It's Your Ego Stupid on Ohm Times Radio. And I'll see you after the break. Conscious Media for Conscious Minds. Ohm Times. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Ohm Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Ohm Times endeavor. Host your show with Ohm Times Radio Network. My name is Victor Furman. Some call me The Voice. I've always been fascinated with human nature, spirituality, science, and the crossroads at which they meet. Join me Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio, and we'll explore these topics and so much more on Destination Unlimited. Hi, Dr. Nick Martin here. I want to invite you to visit my website, egoandspirit.info, where you can find lots of information on ego and download your free ebook copy of It's Your Ego Stupid. Fix it to fix your life. Also, please visit the shop page where you can find each of my other books, Ego Therapy, Ego Spiritualism, and The Two Voices Within. 19 brought to you by CDC and the Ad Council. If you're feeling increasingly lonely right now, you're not alone. It's totally normal. Even though we may not be able to get together in person, connecting virtually with friends and family still gives you a chance to interact with people and may help raise your spirits. Join a virtual book club, set up group text chats or online video coffee breaks with coworkers. Find more self-care and coping tips at coping-19.org. Welcome back. You're listening to It's Your Ego Stupid on Ohm Times Radio, a show for intelligent, spiritual, and imperfect people, just like you and me. Now we're going to take a look at the consciousness path we must walk to undertake our earthly resurrection and what earthly resurrection and heaven on earth looks like 
if one is living it. Early in today's program, I've referred to what I call ego spiritualism, which is a consciousness in which you have fully awakened to your humanity and divinity. It's a consciousness that one can come to recognize and live when they have walked a path of consciousness that I refer to on my website and in my book, Ego Spiritualism. Think of Ego Spiritualism as a location or destination that is preceded by two other locations. The first location is Ego Unconsciousness. It's a place that most people are at and where they have no idea what ego is and the damage it can be doing to their life and those of others, including their family and friends. This is the place where ego energy, if it is unhealthy and imbalanced, can be leading us into a lot of ego stupidity, abnormal normal, and inhumanity that comprises ego's voice that we must come to know if we are ever to move forward on our consciousness journey. This is the place where ego medicine must begin to be used to move us forward. Happy thoughts, positive thoughts, religious thoughts, or spiritual thoughts are not enough. As I said earlier, that game plan has been tried for 3,000 years and has not worked for most. The game plan humanity needs is a foundation built upon the recognition of human and divine truth, human and divine reality. Choose truth to move forward on your journey and to undertake your earthly resurrection. The next place or location on your consciousness journey and earthly resurrection and which precedes ego spiritualism is something I refer to as ego consciousness. Ego consciousness. Here, you are healing your ego energy with ego medicine so that it is bringing it into balance in its power, flexibility, and vulnerability. This is the place where you are making contact with your humanity and discarding any inhumanity that you've been manifesting in the 10 key life areas I talk about in my work towards others and yourself. This is the place where you are beginning to speak with your voice and no longer ego's voice. And you can recognize the difference. This is the place where you are beginning to recognize your divinity as you are now beginning to hear the voice of spirit and the message it is speaking to you in being the love, life, and energy God is and recognizing each of the divine gifts that you've been given. Your choosing truth is bringing you into deeper and deeper contact with your humanity and divinity which as it unfolds is bringing you into the consciousness of ego spiritualism. When you have reached this destination, you are experiencing your earthly resurrection. There is no turning back because you have gained too much human and divine truth that cannot be forgotten. The synergy of your humanity and divinity will not allow you to return to the inhumanity you had once known in a different place, your ego unconsciousness. Here is what your earthly resurrection, heaven on earth, and ego spiritualism look like. Earthly resurrection is reflected in being able to love and accept yourself now and as you are even as you grow into better versions of yourself. Again, being able to love and accept yourself as you are, even as you grow into better versions of yourself. I have found this to be one of the great obstacles to mental wellness that people experience. I often recall sharing with students the idea that 
a lot of the people, a lot of mental illness and difficulties can be resolved if there was a self-acceptance pill, a pill that just could let you like and love yourself as you are. So many people are wrestling with that. And this is an obstacle that to leading to the deadness of being unable to love and like yourself, even as you grow into a person, a deadness in which many have come to dislike and even hate themselves. Being unable to love and accept themselves leads often to many people disliking and even hating themselves. A deadness in which liking and loving yourself must await some future time. So many people are putting off uh, or thinking that this loving and liking of ourselves and accepting of ourselves must await some future time, perhaps when one has accomplished something. That's deadness. A deadness brought about by unhealthy ego energy, serving to one's fashioning of unhealthy and inaccurate thoughts about oneself and what it takes to like, love, and accept oneself. Earthly resurrection is reflected in being at peace with yourself, the people in your life, and the world. So many are living life in conflict with themselves, or with family members, or with people who are coming from different places and backgrounds. They are living the deadness of being angry and unsettled with themselves. They are living the deadness of ongoing anger and conflict with their children, siblings, or parents. They are living the deadness of anger and conflict with people based on their race, gender, religion, ethnicity, political affiliation, and so on. All of this deadness brought about by unhealthy ego energy serving to help people fashion angry thoughts, feelings, and behaviors towards others as well as themselves. Earthly resurrection is reflected in being free of inappropriate expectations of yourself of others and from others. So many are prisoners of wrong or faulty expectations about many areas of life. The deadness of having to have the right look, the right job, the right home, the right relationship. The deadness of placing unreasonable demands upon others that overlook their situation or obstacles. The deadness of trying to meet unreasonable expectations from others and trying to prove oneself. Something I if encountered in the clinical setting when I listen to people talk about their lives and about people that they are trying to prove were wrong. In the back of my head, I'm thinking that's not good. That's not a healthy thing, not a healthy place to be because the bottom line is we really don't need to prove anything to anybody else. All of this deadness brought about by unhealthy ego energy, leading people to create these expectations within their own ego mind. Earthly resurrection is reflected in being free of unnecessary wants in favor of meeting true needs. So many are caught up in pursuing wants as the pathway to experiencing happiness. They are caught up in the deadness of confusing wants with needs. The deadness of failing to realize that oftentimes they have had everything they need. The deadness of pursuing pleasure-based happiness as a substitute for genuine happiness. 
one might say, the deadness of addictions as the means to happiness, as a substitute for genuine happiness. All of this deadness brought about by unhealthy ego energy leading to inaccurate and distorted thoughts about what one truly needs in order to know happiness. Earthly resurrection is reflected in being passionate in the use of your potential towards providing service in the fulfillment of your life's purpose. So many are failing to use their talent and failing to recognize the service in what they are doing, no matter what it is. The deadness of failing to try out of fear of failure consumes many, leading them to underachievement and lack of fulfillment. The deadness of failing to try out of fear of success, being concerned about the added additional responsibilities or obligations that come with being successful is deadness. The deadness of failing to recognize the service which is being rendered to them and others within their life's work. All of this deadness brought about by unhealthy ego energy leading to distorted thoughts and beliefs about their potential and what must be accomplished with it. Earthly resurrection is reflected in being motivated by love rather than anger, fear, or guilt. So many are moved in their efforts to live life with the use of anger, fear, or guilt, rather than love. Regardless of the task involving work, family, health, friends, and so on, oftentimes things fail to be a labor of love. The deadness of fear being the basis for being moved to get things done and to maximize one's efforts. The deadness of guilt being the basis for getting things done or not done. The deadness of anger being the basis for getting things done. All of this deadness brought about by unhealthy ego energy leading us towards the survival emotions of anger, fear, and guilt, and away from the living emotion of love. Earthly resurrection is reflected in being able to live fully in the present. So many are having difficulty living life in the present and being fully present. The deadness of being chained to the past by failing to resolve issues and keeping them alive in the present. The deadness of being preoccupied with the future in order to protect oneself from the unknown. All of this deadness brought about by unhealthy ego energy, weakening our ability to live in the present in favor of surviving the past and future. We're coming up on our second break. When we return, I'm going to complete looking at reflections of uh, earthly resurrection. And then we'll go on to the last part of our program in which we'll be focusing on the means to undertaking and completing our earthly resurrection and coming to experience heaven on earth using ego medicine. This is Dr. Nick. You're listening to It's Your Ego Stupid on Ohm Times Radio. And I'll see you after the break. The Real Conscious Connection. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM.
Om Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment. A philanthropic organization, their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Om Times, co-creating a more conscious lifestyle. Imagine yourself being transported to India, to the banks of the Ganga, and an ashram in Rishikesh. Visualize that you are welcome to satsang with an American sannyasi who shares the wisdom of her guru. Your visualization has manifested. Join Satvi Bhagawati Saraswati for inspiration and transformation every Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern on Om Times Radio. If I could be you, and you could be me for just one hour. If you could find a way to get inside each other's mind. Walk a mile in my shoes. Walk a mile in my shoes. Walk a mile in my shoes. shoes. We've all felt left out. And for some, that feeling lasts more than a moment. We can change that. Learn how at belongingbeginswithus.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council. Walk a mile in my shoes. Welcome back. You're listening to It's Your Ego Stupid on Ohm Times Radio, a show for intelligent, spiritual, and imperfect people, just like you and me. We're going to continue looking at reflections of earthly resurrection and then go on to looking at how we can choose ourselves in order to live the great life that has been made available to us. Earthly resurrection is reflected in being the love the life, and the energy God is. In being the unconditional, connective, unburdened, and unlimited love God is. Instead, many are living the deadness of only knowing conditional love for oneself or others, offering or receiving love only under certain circumstances rather than under all circumstances. The deadness of disconnection between oneself, others, and life. The loving of some and the not loving of others is deadness. The love God is does not make any distinctions between those who can or who cannot be loved. The deadness of feeling burdened within the offering of love to others. Oftentimes, people feel that in their loving efforts that they're being burdened instead of recognizing that the offering of love often results in the feeling of more love, of greater love, than, than the love that one began with. The deadness of believing that one only has so much love to give is deadness. That only one has so much. When the divine reality is that we have an unlimited amount of love within our being due to the nature of our divinity in which we share. All of this deadness taking place when unhealthy ego energy is standing in the way of being the love God is. Earthly resurrection is reflected in recognizing the presence of God in all living things and treating it with honor and respect. Again, recognizing the presence of God in all living things and treating it with honor and respect. Instead, many are living the deadness of failing to recognize the presence of God in all living things. The deadness of discriminating against or mistreating others on the basis of race, religion, 
gender, ethnicity, political affiliation, all of that, mistreatment, abuse, discrimination, is deadness. The deadness of treating different life forms as less worthy of honor and respect. So when people are mistreating animals or even plant life, that is deadness. And all of this deadness is taking place when unhealthy ego energy is standing in the way of being the life God is. Earthly resurrection is reflected in recognizing the ability of truth to bring about healing and transformation. Human and divine truth, ability to bring about healing and transformation. And I think this is the freedom that Jesus was talking about. Instead, many are living the deadness of failing to seek the truth they do not know, plunging them further into darkness. The deadness of failing to question the false beliefs or truths they do know, plunging them further into darkness. Or the deadness of avoiding the truths they do not want to know due to their inconvenience. Again, plunging them further into darkness. All of this deadness taking place when unhealthy ego energy is standing in the way of being the energy God is. Earthly resurrection is reflected in realizing each of the divine gifts that one and everyone has received. Earthly resurrection is reflected in recognizing the gift of one's life. Instead, so many are failing to recognize their life as a gift. The deadness of taking their life for granted is at work for some. The deadness of viewing their life as a burden is at work for some. The deadness of failing to recognize the abundance that has been made available to them is at work for some. All of this deadness taking place when unhealthy ego energy is standing in the way of recognizing the gift of life. Earthly resurrection is reflected in recognizing the gift of being able to create one's life. Being able to create the life in which you are living is a divine gift. Instead, so many are failing to create the life in which they are living. The deadness of allowing others to define their life's path instead of themselves is happening. The deadness of allowing others to define their ceiling and how far they can go. Again, reflective of deadness. The deadness of failing to trust and believe in themselves to shape their life's path. All of this deadness taking place when unhealthy ego energy is standing in the way of recognizing the gift of creating one's life. Earthly resurrection is reflected in recognizing the gift of your eternal life. So many are failing to recognize 
the gift of their eternal life. The deadness of being consumed with their mortality and death is occurring for many. The deadness of being so consumed with their survival that they stop living. The deadness of failing to realize that God has provided for them here and beyond. All of this deadness taking place an unhealthy ego energy is standing in the way of recognizing the gift of one's eternal life. Finally, earthly resurrection is reflected in recognizing the gift of God within. So many are failing to recognize that God dwells within them, or they could not exist. None of life could exist in the absence of God's presence within. The deadness of thinking that they are walking alone in their life is taking place for many. The deadness of failing to realize that they have an incredible resource within their being the deadness of believing they are alone in accomplishing great things without God's support or presence. All of this deadness taking place when unhealthy ego energy is standing in the way of recognizing the gift of God within, the divinity within our humanity. Now we're going to take a look of what we can use to choose ourselves in order to live the great life that is available to us. As I've been saying at the end of many of my shows, the spiritual part of healing is a given. It's been woven into our being by God. I'm reminded of the great Islamic poet Rumi, who said, What you seek is seeking you. And what is seeking us is the love, life, and energy God is within our being. What is seeking us is the awareness of each of the divine gifts that anyone who has ever lived and will live, have received. It's our ego energy when it's unhealthy and imbalanced that leads many to experience and accept the deadness of a life they would characterize as poor or fair and being resigned to the emptiness and loneliness that often fills them with the belief that things can never get better. It's our ego energy when it's unhealthy and imbalanced that's getting in the way of what many seek and can't seem to find involving a better life because they are often looking in the wrong places and to the wrong people due to their ego energy. It's our ego energy when it's unhealthy and imbalanced that's getting in the way of letting flow what has been woven into us and seeking us, our divinity. We must choose ourselves, and we must choose to know truth, human and divine, in order to unite our humanity and divinity. The choice we must make is to use ego medicine to open our eyes to truth that will resonate with the design fashioned for us by God within the wisdom of the ages to heal and transform into the great life. We must choose to get to know what ego really is so that we can better know what it is and what it's doing in our life. Coming to understand and know truth about the survival energy it is and how it can disturb 
and distort our ability to love ourselves and others, leading to deadness. Coming to understand and know how it can disturb and distort our ability to use our potential and recognize the service in what we are doing, leading to deadness. Coming to understand and know truth about how it can disturb and distort our ability to grow the quality of our mind with truth, leading to deadness. Coming to understand and know truth about how it can disturb and distort our ability to work with the inevitable, developmental, situational, and societal changes life will bring, leading to deadness. Coming to understand and know truth about how it can disturb and distort our ability to work with the inevitable failures, losses, and mistakes that we will encounter due to our imperfection, leading to deadness. Coming to understand and know truth about how it can disturb and distort our ability to work with inevitable health, relationship, work, and financial stressors that will, life will bring to our door, leading to deadness. Coming to understand and know truth about how it can disturb and distort the inevitable conflicts that take place in our life, leading to deadness. And finally, coming to understand and know truth about how it can disturb and distort our ability to know what genuine happiness is, often substituting pseudo-happiness or pleasure-based happiness leading to deadness. Ego medicine also involves choosing to tune into our specific ego energy. Coming to understand and know truth about how much power, flexibility, and vulnerability at, are at work in one's ego energy. This represents an important starting point for you to identify in order to understand the ego work you must do along your journey. What is the volume level of your power, flexibility, and vulnerability? This is where you can find out where and how your ego voice is at work and preventing you from speaking your voice. This is a task to be undertaken with my assistance. Each of my books can serve you in this effort to bring about this attunement, an attunement to your ego energy. Also, each of my Ohm Times radio podcasts are available on my website, egoandspirit.info to also sharpen your understanding of ego and your particular ego energy. Finally, ego medicine involves choosing to recognize and replace the ego-rooted, non-reality-based, truth-disconnected thinking going on in your ego mind or ego space, the ego stupidity, the abnormal normal, with reality-based, truth-disconnected, truth connected thinking that can resonate with the design you have been given to naturally heal and transform with truth, human and divine. Again, lots and lots of examples of ego-driven, non-reality-based, truth-disconnected thinking are presented in my books and podcasts. The people living in ego energy similar to, your, to yours have had to work with so they can speak with their voice in their life within their truth-connected, reality-based thoughts, words, feelings, and behaviors. I also provide lots of examples of what ego, balanced ego energy involving power, flexibility, and vulnerability look like in one's thoughts, feelings, and behaviors when we are healthily managing the 10 key life areas. This is intended to serve as a reference point for how you are moving forward in your ego healing and work to earthly resurrection. The opportunity is here. Choose yourself, choose truth, and choose the great life. 
I want to thank you for listening and allowing me to be your servant. Please have a great week and do come back to my next program. In peace and love, this is Dr. Nick saying goodbye for now.